Jake here for American Trucks, and today I'm taking a look at these powered, heated, manually extendable towing mirrors with smoke turn signals in textured black for 2007 to 2013 Silverado 1500s. If you're towing and hauling with your Silverado, you know that those stock mirrors can be woefully inadequate as far as visibility goes. These mirrors give you better visibility with larger surface area for the glass, additional lighting, plus more adjustability versus stock. These make for an excellent upgrade from your stock mirrors and they're not gonna hurt your wallet either. When you've got a big trailer out behind your truck, being able to see properly makes all the difference in your confidence behind the wheel. If your Silverado came with the standard size mirrors and you're towing a lot, then you owe it to yourself to upgrade. And these mirrors feature larger main sections of glass in addition to smaller convex sections on the bottom. These provide you with much more surface area so you can better place your truck and the trailer as well. And those convex mirrors give you a little bit more additional visibility as far as where your wheels are placed on the truck and trailer too. Now these can also be manually extended, making it easy to see if you've got a large trailer or large load behind you, you're gonna get more of a range of visibility. These also retain your factory power adjustments for the main mirror glass, so regular adjustments are super easy to do. And in addition, they also retain the heating function, so on cold or snowing mornings, just switch on your rear defroster, and these are gonna clear off with no effort from you at all. Makes for very easy usage and a simple upgrade versus your stock setup, but there's more to it than that. On the outside, the mirror caps are finished in textured black to match the rest of the trim on your truck, and there's also a chrome option available if you want a little extra flash. But the bigger story is that these also include some additional lighting. So on the back side of the mirrors facing toward the front of the truck, you get LED turn signal lights with a smoked polycarbonate lens. These look cool and stealthy and they work in conjunction with your turn signals to make your rig more visible out on the road. And since they are LEDs, they're also gonna last a long time too, which means that you don't have to worry about replacing those bulbs. Now on the inner side of the mirrors, you also get more LEDs that function as running lights to help other motorists see the full width of your truck. So especially if you've got those mirrors out, it's gonna make sure that you are seen when it counts. And when you're hauling, making sure others know where you are is very important safety since you can't maneuver quite as fast. Now pricing will come in around $275 for the pair, making them pretty affordable considering all that you get. Between the heating function, the additional mirrors, and the lights, you're getting a lot of stuff here, and these are a vast improvement versus your stock mirrors. So if you're hauling or towing a lot, it's a small price to pay for the additional visibility and safety that these are gonna provide. Installation will come in at a one out of three on our difficulty mirror, and they should only take you about an hour to install. These are essentially a plug and play installation, so no need to worry about making any modifications to your truck. And to show you that process right now, let's throw it over to one of our AT customers. All right, we're going to work on a 2011 Chevy Silverado, uh, replacing the stock mirrors with towing mirrors. Uh, first thing we're going to start with is by removing this trim panel. Uh, you can use a screwdriver, but if you have a trim tool like this, it will be better. <clears throat> I just put everything down in the uh, seat or in the footwell here, keep track of it. Uh, next thing we got to do is we're going to have to uh, remove the um, door panel here. We're going to take, again, using a different trim tool, pop this off. <clears throat> There's, you got to take that off, this off, this one, and this one to get to the bolts. Those are all the trim pieces you have to pull off. Next, you are going to need a 10 millimeter uh, socket. Uh, I have an extension hand just to make it a little easier to get to. I usually break everything loose first. And then go like so. You want to keep these bolts together. Start the rain. So you can make sure you put them back in the, the correct order. <clears throat> Those three bolts, these two and this one are pretty much identical. These uh, in the handle are different, so you want to make sure these stay separate for sure. Now that that's off, you're going to want to use your trim tool again and stop, start popping 
this off. You just want to go around. And it should just pretty much pop right off. There's a couple hooks at the bottom. You can kind of lean it like this and it should be fine. This is just to help insulate against road noise. And there's three 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter nuts in here. And you want to take those out. Be careful here. You don't want to uh, drop, drop, drop these down into the door frame. This one, leave a little loose because that'll be the one we take off. <clears throat> Next, we've got to unhook the wire. They just kind of pop off in certain spots. <clears throat> All I did was I turned this upside down like this and I was able to get to and pop out where the connector goes, which should be this one here. If you pull on this connector down here, it'll come loose, make your life a little easier because the, the wires that came with the new mirrors are a little short. And then you're just gonna pull this wire out, trying to feed it up through here. It sometimes gets stuck. But there we go. Now that we got the last bolt out, or the, uh, the wire unhooked, lastly you want to take the last bolt out. You may want to support this so it doesn't fall. There's like a little clip here that kind of holds it in place so it probably won't fall. And then just kind of pop down like that and it should pop right out. And that's the removal. Insulation is pretty much exactly the opposite of the, ins uh, of the removal. Next. Feed the wires through. Now this will fall because this does not clip in. So you may need to get someone to help hold this. First thing you want to do is at least put one of these nuts back on just to hold it in place. have one in place you're pretty much good then you want to take your wires kind of follow the same path you removed them again they can get kind of stuck in here so you may have to wiggle them a little bit once you have that in place uh, use the, just hook up the wire uh, back to the same place you unhooked it uh, I removed this because it's uh, this wire is shorter so it gives me a little extra room here. And then <clears throat> you're pretty much good to go there. Once you have that in place, <clears throat> you'll want to go ahead and finish tightening this up. Again, I just get it finger tight first. And then I'll put some torque on it. You don't need to make this extremely tight, but these are your mirrors, so you don't want them moving or anything. So good little bit of torque on it. Just don't want to strip out the the bolts. Then you want to put your little uh, piece of foam back in in here and this is pretty much just kind of stuff it in here the best you can you're probably not going to get it exactly the way it was again mostly just for uh, elimination of some road noise through here and stuff that looks pretty good Uh, lastly, what I do is I, I double check to make sure everything's working. So I'm going to um, go over to my uh, driver's side and use the uh, mirror control just to make sure the mirror changes. So, And then I'm going to put the door, the door back on.
All right, start with the top. Start with the top, <clears throat> get it started like that, and then you should be able to just... Go like that, and then start putting your bolts back in. Put these two bolts in. So you've got the three bolts, these two are the same, this one. Then you got the two handle ones, they're a little bit different. Once I have everything tightened up, I'll use my ratchet and start tightening everything up. Again, it doesn't have to be super tight. Then you put your start putting your trim tools or your trim pieces back on. And it's just kind of they all just kind of snap in there. <clears throat> this one can only go one way. There's like a little hole here, a little hole right there, and that little peg goes in there. This pops in like so. This pops in like so. And lastly, we got this piece, which just has the two clips here. Well, there should be a third one, but it looks like it, it kind of uh, just grabs onto that or broke off one or the other. But you only need two. That's the installation. Uh, one other thing, the <clears throat> I did the passenger side. The driver's side is the exact same, just opposite side of the truck. We move the trim. Undo the bolts, remove the trim, undo the three bolts with the mirror, and then reverse install just like you saw for the passenger side. That's gonna wrap it up here for our review and install of the powered, heated, manually extendable towing mirrors with the smoke turn signals in texture black for 2007 to 2013 Silverado 1500s. Thanks so much for watching, and remember for all things Silverado, be sure to keep it right here at americantrucks.com.